When Sydney Gardens opened in 1795, it had a labyrinth. We can see from historic plans that it was in the southeast of the park, but it was taken out when the Great Western Railway was built in 1840. Thanks to a guidebook from 1825, we have the original labyrinth design and we know what was in the centre, the mysterious Merlin's Swing. So we had an idea. Recreate the labyrinth in the park by mowing it into the old, overgrown Bowls Club lawn. On Sunday the 19th of November, the project team and a group of volunteers marked out the design and sprayed it onto the grass. So this is the um, Bowls Club lawn and we have the Bowls Club here. We'll be using what we call a setting out line along the bottom and we'll be taking a tape measure of 30 metres up that way and 30 metres that way. So we'll peg out every five metres and we'll generate a, a grid square, five metres by five. Ready? We'll then put labels in each of the grid squares. We'll go one, two, three, in. And then we'll use spray markers, contractor spray marker, white chalk line, to mark out the actual lines of the pathways which go through the covering. Pretty good. That's excellent. Not bad, Joe, not bad. The um, mower will then follow these white lines and mow, mow them out. The next day, the parks team mowed in the design. And here it is, for the first time in over 170 years, a labyrinth in Sydney Gardens. Now we can imagine what having a permanent labyrinth might be like. And it's open, so go and explore and tell us what you think.